Hey, it's time to dish with D. That's me. I got a lot of important things to say today, so pay attention. <laughs> Sounded good. I'm hearing a lot of, I mean, I'm hearing a lot of chatter. Oh, first let's show you my cute mask for today. Because I like to share your, my mask. This was sent to me by my girl, Ellen. And what do you see how sick cute this is? I mean, look, glitter Santa, rhinestone Santa. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but come on. I'm enjoying this. I'm sorry, a little bit. Fun masks, I'm having a good time. Okay, serious stuff now. I'm hearing a lot of chatter about Weight Watchers, and I'm not happy about the chatter I'm hearing. Here's the thing. I also read, if you guys get this, an email from Smiley Points. I'm not sure why I signed up for Smiley Points. I don't remember why, but apparently I'm on the email list for Smiley Points. He said something about Weight Watchers and I don't know, racism. I didn't, don't know what he's talking about. I have not heard anything negative like that. But that being said, I, again, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not hearing good chatter and I'm hearing the things about they're changing to this um, Zoom platform, which I understand because you can't get to meetings, and they're making it where people have to pay for it, which I guess they're a business. You can't get everything for nothing. Uh, I guess it's mostly for meeting members, but I also, now I get, I don't know if any of this is true. I'm putting that out there. I don't know if any of this is true. I'm just repeating. If anybody can clarify, that would be fabulous. That they're going to make lifetime members such as myself who don't go in for weigh-ins to pay $14 a month for the app. Now, I don't know why they're not going in for weigh-ins because they're afraid to go in for weigh-ins maybe. I don't know. But <laughs> I'm not paying for that app. I'm sorry. I earned that app. I am not giving you one bloody penny. If I'm going to pay for something, I'm certainly not going to pay for that. So I'm not sure. I mean, I got, I did get weighed in. I've, I've gotten weighed in. I haven't gotten weighed in regularly. I've got, I was weighed in, I mean, there's September, October. I don't remember which, and I just was weighed in this week. So it's December. So I am a member of good standing, you know, and I, you know, if you want, I will get, I mean, I have no problem getting weighed in. It's just when you say you don't have to, then heck, if, if I don't have to, I'm not going to. There's the bottom line. If you're going to tell me you don't have to, so I'm not going to. But don't all of a sudden throw in, oh, well, guess what? Now, you know, if you don't, you're going to... I guess they want to make sure we're staying within our goal weight. Because if we're not, then we have to pay them the big bucks. Which I do think is unfair because... Or, now, I don't know again if this has changed, but originally... If I went in there and I was over my goal, I'd have to give them $15. That's a weekly fee. Now granted, there are many plans out there that are cheaper than $15 a week. So to me, they should give us that plan. As being a lifetime member, you get screwed basically by giving them that 15. To me, it's like, that's a lot of money. Like there's, I could join and get like, you know, a, 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 a nice plan for not $15 a week. It could be like nine or 10 or 11, but now they give the like, they think you get punished. I don't know. That's a whole other story. But so I'm not sure where that's going, you know, whether we have to get, which like I said, if it's safe, I don't mind going in. I truly don't. But if it's we're in the height of a pandemic here, I'm certainly not going to go in there where everybody's, well, everybody's fine not been but I don't feel the need that that's an important thing to go out for do you understand what I'm saying like I feel the need to have to go out for food you know there's a, we need food or medicine that's a necessity I don't feel getting weighed in for Weight Watchers is not quite the necessity so I don't feel the need to have to go in and get weighed during a pandemic now if they understand that that weight weighing is not that important to me and if I am expected to pay then I will not and I will just cancel my Weight Watchers membership. I will no longer be associated with Weight Watchers. The company. I may still follow the plan, but I will not associate with the company. And I might not, and sit there and say, well, you're gonna tap their plan, which is true. Maybe I shouldn't tap their plan. I think about that. That's a lot to encompass. I used to do eye track bites. And let me tell you something. If you're thinking of quitting WW, 
you should get eye track bites. I highly recommend eye track bites. Their fees are, so, oh my God, you can get a whole year for like, I think like $30, something like that. And their app is very comparable to Weight Watchers. It has a recipe builder. It has, you know, meal tracking. It has the scanner. It has a community. And it has a coach. And they're doing a lot more online coaching. They've always done that. So now they're really amping it up because why not? So I do think the benefits on iTrack Bites outweigh the benefits on Weight Watchers. They have, again, recipes on there like Weight Watchers does. So I'm a little bit annoyed to tell you that right now. I, like I said, I worked my butt off to get where I'm at and I don't feel that I, that is a fair deal, honestly. Um, I don't. I mean, they could have said you need to get weighted within the three month period. To sit there and demand, I just think that that's a lot. And I think they're suffering as a company and they're looking somehow to make money somewhere. So screw the lifetimers. Well, you're not going to screw this lifetimer because honestly, I just, I can't, I can't in good conscience do that. And I won't let, I won't be dictated to or bullied into that. Um, and I don't think anybody else should. If you're not comfortable going in, you shouldn't have to. I mean, it's all about our comfort level and that's what it boils down to. And I'm here for you guys if you need, you know, if you're thinking of quitting Weight Watchers and you're scared about not having the support, I'm here for you guys because you know what? We could help each other and honestly, it's just a little might be a better fit in the long run. So yeah, so I am really toying with the idea because if that's what it comes, I'm waiting for them to make, they're, they're going to have to cut me off first. I'm going to let them make the decision. If they make the decision, I'm just, I'm flying with it. I'm not going to sit there and I'm not doing it. You're hearing that right now. D is not paying them a red penny. I worked my butt off to be here and I don't, you know, to, to I did what they told me to do and now they're going to change the rules midstream. Yeah, I, I'm not, it's not something I go for. I don't. And this has been, I mean, with them, a lot of things have just been piling up in my mind, the way they handle a lot of things. Like they fired these coaches on a Zoom call. I think that's just, I don't know, poor business. We're business owners, my husband and I, and I would never do that. I wouldn't, not that we have that many employees, we only have two, but I mean, I would never um, do that in front of the other person. You know, that's just, that's just unprofessional. You know, you want to, and I get you have to lay people off. I get that. That's totally understandable, but you don't need to do it in that quite, of, you know, especially people that have been there a long time that don't deserve that. Nobody deserves that. You know, you put, you work for a company, you put your time and you don't deserve to be treated like crap. So that was, you know, I mean, did they need to revamp? They did. But there's just ways of doing it. And, you know. I'm kind of glad, like, I remember thinking, I think we had this conversation before, that I wanted to work for Weight Watchers. <laughs> Can I say, miss that boat, thank God? Yeah, I, I mean, they didn't want me because I used a doctor's note to get to my goal. Yeah, I robbed them of 10 pounds, so I guess I'm a cheater. Well, you know what, if that's what you think, I don't want to work for a company like you. I remember sitting there thinking, I'm like, they don't want me to be a leader because I use a doctor's note. Not that I lost 115 pounds, but that's, that's irregardless. You used a doctor's note, so you're just basically a fraud. That's how I, I'm like, wow. And I still tout them, which is ridiculous. I probably should have. I probably should have jumped eye track bites. No dead You know, live and learn. I actually applied to be an eye track bites coach, I think it is. I haven't heard back yet, but you know, I thought, what the heck? I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking ahead for myself and for my own journey and for my people. I just not liking the way things are looking, and I don't know if you guys have. I haven't gotten an email. There's supposed to be an email going out. I know they changed the app where where it's find a studio. You hit that, it's find a Zoom, and it gives you all you know, those Zooms you can plug into. But again, if you're a online only member you can't plug into those zooms unless you i think there's a charge for those which quite honestly the zooms aren't worth it their zooms are, are just i don't know 
it's hard to, and I'm not going to say it's hard to do a live chat when you're just, you know, it's just hard. This is a whole different forum and you don't have, you can't have people talk because they'll all talk over people and you can't hear anything. So it's not an easy forum to deal with. But I, I think a lot of it is they need to, what's the word I'm looking for? Go back into the pool and, and put some other ducks in there. Because some of the ducks that they have in that pool, today i think you need a whole new perspective that's just my opinion of course remember this is always my opinion but if you know anything that's going on like i said i didn't get my email i just read a couple from a few of you had sent me so i'm kind of you know i'm kind of in the slight area of knowing what's going on but like i said i haven't got concrete information on that lifetimers thing that's just what's the the, the mumble is on the street that they're going to, um, if you don't get, get weighed in, you can keep your app for $14 a month. Which I guess they're going to say that's pretty cheap. Because I think a regular digital is, was 20 I think it's 24 now, if I'm not mistaken. So they're giving you a discount. Yeah. Okay. I'm not really digging that discount, but hey. But like I said, if it was a regular time and place, I could understand that. But when you're in the middle of a pandemic and people are afraid to come out, I do think that's a bit rude. Like I said, I try not to go out. I really do. We're not Christmas shopping this year. And I've said that a million times. I'm not going out store to store. I could do it online, I guess. But you know what? I'm, my kids are 21, 22, and 27. They're not children. They're adults. Gonna give them, they got to pick their gift card and they will get the gift card of their choice and they can cap at whatever they want. This way they get what they want. It's all good. They'll get their cute little stocking stuffers when we went shopping once. Stocking stuffers are done. So, you know, I don't feel the need to have presents under the tree. So, I mean, they're adults. They don't need to be opening gifts. And, oh, look at my, no, they don't need to do that. They're adults, they're grown men. They don't need to do that. If you have little kids, it's different. But when you have men, they don't need to do that. And they don't, and honestly, they don't want to do that. They're just like, you know what? With this day and age, mom, we don't want you out there. We don't need you to order stuff online. We'll order our own stuff. I'm like, I like that. So yeah, so I am limiting the time I go out. It's just, and, and I did a Walmart pickup. I didn't go into the store. So I'm doing mostly pickups and uh, a few run-ins real quick. Cause I just, you just don't know what's out there. It's not worth getting sick over. And like I said, I am so not worrying about getting weighed in. There are more important things going on in the world than my weight. So, oh, there's a thing. So I'm going to end this video here because there's a fire truck coming. Have a great rest of your day. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button.